Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to map a user to an existing login in SQL Server. Let's say that you have already a login and you created a user in database. Um, in normal databases, not the contained databases, but the normal databases, every user that you create in database has to have a login in order to um, use SQL Server. If a user exists in um, database and is not mapped to the um, login, that user is considered orphan user and we do not want orphan users in our database so what we need to do is that uh, um, create a database user and then map that user to an existing login so that it can go ahead and use our SQL server and go in the database and do whatever it needs to do so in this video we're gonna go ahead and create a database user and map it to an existing login and we'll be using two ways using SQL server management studio graphic user interface and using tsql script so let's do that here's my server and here's my uh, tech brothers sql mirror uh, sql server instance so in order to uh, go ahead and create a database user individual user what we're going to do go in sales order go to the security go to the user as you can see that you particular user doesn't exist so we're going to go ahead and create new user and we're gonna go ahead and use Windows user and click on here username it will take us back to our Active Directory right now it's the local uh, uh, location is the local server we don't want that since it's a Windows um, user we're, we're gonna go ahead and click on location and select entire directory this is our Active Directory so we're going to use we're gonna go ahead and case Scott we're gonna check that if this user exists in our active directory so we're going to go ahead and click check name and this user does exist in our active directory so we're going to go ahead and click OK and up here uh, there's a login name so right now we can go ahead and map this particular user to an existing login it could be the login this is with the same name it could be some other login you don't have to create login uh, for every user you can have one login and uh, map multiple users in SQL Server to that particular login so we're gonna go ahead in this case we do have a login uh, Tech Brothers K Scott so we're gonna go ahead and map this particular user to this existing login so let's go ahead and check the logins as you can see right here the tech brothers login is there so we're going to go ahead and click that login click ok click ok and default schema we're going to go ahead and give default schema dbo to this particular user and we're going to go ahead and click ok as you can see right now this user is created in the database and we're going to go ahead double click and go to general and see right here it is mapped to the login so now this user can come in SQL Server and start using the database now let's use the second method I'm going to go ahead and delete this user and we're gonna go use our tsql script and do the same thing and let's see that if we're successful so we're gonna go ahead and open our tsql I already have a script right here as you can see the script is create the first is creating the user in the database after that right here for login it's mapping to the login tech brother Scott if you wanted to change the login if you wanted this user K Scott to uh, map to any other login uh, other than tech brothers K Scott we do have already uh, a login so you can give that login name right here and this user will be mapped to that particular login after that we're using the same database and giving the role database reader to uh, Kevin Scott right here to this particular user so we're gonna go ahead and run this command as you can see the command completed successfully we're gonna refresh our users and right here is our Kevin Scott and let's see that if this particular user is mapped to this tech brother K Scott login double click go to general and as you can see right here login name is tech brothers Scott so basically this is uh, how you map a user to an existing login you can create as many user as you want in a database and then you can go ahead and select one login and multiple user can be mapped to a single login I hope this video helps